What's going on YouTube? We've had a lot of controversy on one of my videos and I want to I want to squash this beef right now. This is an SSL bus compressor, the Duende bundle, an awesome bundle. Do not take away from the bundle, but the goal of the video was this. I I we got confused. I mean, this is total confusion. I had an artist that came in that does mastering work and I do mastering work for him. Um, he's a great guy, great producer, spends a lot of time on his music. You guys can check them out uh, at sweetdropdigital.com. But the next thing is, is I have a bus compressor and then I have an insert of the bus compressor. Before the video happened, what I did was I matched the actual levels. And this is the truth behind this. You are going to hear the difference between the bus compressor and the actual plug-in set at the exact same ratio, the exact same makeup gain. Everything is identical on this. Everything. It is the dB compression. The actual reduction of decibels is 8 decibels. On the hardware, the reduction is 8 decibels. So I'm going to hit play on this and let you guys hear it, okay? So let's let's move this back and forth. You know, let's get a pretty decent look at the uh, the actual on screen compressor. And what I want to do is leave it on here and then go from here. You guys are going to notice the difference. I mean, if you can't, I don't know what to tell you. But this isn't a full session we just did for a gentleman. We will put the link to his song, and we got to approve that he wants the song. But in the bottom right corner now, you can see the actual, the actual bus. What we're going to do during this test is we are going to take it totally out of the signal. We're not going to leave it in to let it, you know, add analog. We're going to take it out of the signal. But then this raises a question: Could we get away with like maybe a summing channel? Because really, when you go through the bus compressor, you're pretty much summing to an analog channel. Um, with this being said, let's get to it and let you hear what really happens. So let's go somewhere where there's some transients. I'm going to scoot up here. Um, we are going to start with the compressor off and the hardware off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the actual plug-in. Okay, so in this in this uh, example, I had to slam the decibel makeup gain to almost 12 dBs. On the hardware itself, it's nowhere near that. I mean, it's it's pretty much uh, I would say two o'clock. So I mean, it's like right up in here. Uh, that means that when I matched it, I mean, we're talking seven dBs, and I'm. I'm talking 12 dBs and what's happening with the plugin, which the plugin is awesome for mixing, it's awesome for things, but for the mastering side of this, for the finalizing, this is why guys are like, well, what, I mean, I'm just not getting that punch and that excitement. And these are Symphony I.O. converters. Animal wild suit bust you and your crew So therefore, young fools soon to lose Sooner or later, comes around the paper chases Strike your bows, make your bow like Madonna Wrestle the top like your magma Set like a target, you will throw your card like a number Got a bit on your head like an action show The information flow, cause so what you know May very well kill you or bruise you Skip away with the loop, just like my boo just the way what I mean by this is this plugin is phenomenal for it to be able to do what it's doing it's phenomenal but the problem is is the same thing I talked about in the first video it has this like sheen over it it's almost like it still needs EQ listen to it it's still I still feel like I want to EQ it more so therefore, young fools soon to lose. 
sooner or later Come surround the paper chasers Strike your balls, make your bold like Madonna Wrestle the top like your magma Sit like a toddler If you were fraud, your card like a number Got a bit on your head like an action show Everything off Do you notice how just it just, it just brings punch to it? You. Skip away with the loop, just like my boo. It's just the way it is. Gotta get the money, the clock is ticking. It's just the way it is. <laughs> Living in the world no different from myself. It's just the way it is. Killer what's waiting in the wings, ready to be. In this video is not to to you know say, oh man, this is amazing. This was close to me making up gain on the plug-in. And making a gain on the hardware to compensate this is almost identical this is real life situation here this is identical the problem is what I'm facing with the plug-in on the main bus is actually having to push the gain so much to try to get the same exact sound that the the hardware is doing and in my mind that is a very very difficult task because what that does is leads to, to pumping it leads to um, you know a song not sounding like it should and what I mean by this and what we did in the first video and it's such a hard thing to explain to people is in real life we don't want to have to do that I'm gonna to explain to you one thing I use that bus compressor plug-in a lot I use it a lot I use it on all different kinds of buses inside the, the session um, we're running superior conversion and we have an amazing uh, computer. I mean, the computer is super. They call it a supercomputer. No, it's a it's a very heavy computer. I mean, it's like you know multiple cores upon multiple cores and 12 gigs of RAM. I mean, it's a huge computer. So the thing is, is what I what I meant by the the first video we were doing is the excitement that an actual artist comes in. Now this is on the master bus. That is affecting everything. When we heard what I hear as an engineer is this is controlling the sound in a better way it it's it, let me explain this the SSL bus compressor plug-in is for what they want for it is a no-brainer pick up that bundle it's an amazing bundle but what I'm saying is and what I meant in the video is when this gentleman the first video we did he comes in and he wants that final sound he wants that finalized sound and as you can hear in this example with a decent set of monitors here the sound that you want is there it is tight it's punchy we can turn it up more we can bring more volume to it without it falling apart in this case I did this on purpose this is a heavy threshold and what I found out about the plug-in is you can't get away with these thresholds we're talking 8 dB's a gain reduction we have a long attack and an auto release going on same with the with the hardware version when you compare them side by side like this first of all since we're not looking at the screen, let's let you decide which one sounds better. This is A. That's off. That's off. Comes around the paper chases. Strike your balls, make your bold like Madonna. I saw the top like your magma. Sit like a target, you will throw your card like a number. Got a bit on your head like an action show. The information flow, cause of what you know. Maybe be well killed you or bruise you. Skip away with the loop, just like my boo. It's just the way it is. Gotta get the money, the clock is ticking. It's the way it is. Living in the world no different from myself. It's just the What's incredible is this. The plug-in sounds very, 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 very similar to that hardware. Very similar. But what was what was the issue here is I had to adjust the threshold, adjust, uh, adjust the makeup gain. The only thing that's different in this video is the makeup gain. So I had to correspond the makeup gain to that makeup gain. The makeup gain, gain on the hardware is nowhere close to the, the makeup gain on the plug-in. And what I find out in this example is when we're trying to get something to sit fat, punchy, clear, even, and defined at the top, now we have to push it just a tad bit more on the makeup gain of the actual hard on the actual plug-in. What I'm saying in the video is this. If you don't have the cash to go buy a bus compressor, 
the plugins that they're making today are very, very accurate to the hardware. But when we compare the hardware to the plugin, the hardware has that finalizing sound. To me, it just sounds finalized. When we turn the song up, it's cleaner, tighter, punchier. When we turn the plugin up, it starts to smear a little bit. I'm not saying that there's not uses for this plugin, but I highly recommend if you want to take the next step in recording and engineering and mastering and stuff like this, that hardware does have the advantage because it doesn't have to depend on the computer. It doesn't have to depend on ch uh, shark processors. It doesn't have to depend on which conversion it's coming through. It doesn't have to depend on Pro Tools. It, it's just independently saying, give me the signal. For that plugin to be anywhere close to that hardware, I think SSL and other companies like Universal Audio and these guys, they have came a long way. They do something that I possibly don't know anything about. What I do know about is how to get the sound that, that artists that work with me want. So I wanted to end this whole SSL debate with something that was actually accurate. That is accurate. When you have a plug-in and a output, and we'll even go one further before we end. I'm going to open up a meter, and I'm going to make sure that we're 100% on point. I mean, I'm going to make sure it's not, I, I'm just doing this by ear. We're going to open up a meter here. We're going to push play here. Okay, so the hardware is sitting at negative six, which most masters are for hip hop. And the plugin sitting exactly, it's both average RMS level of negative six. They're both sitting exactly identical with the same threshold and the same ratio. So, there you go. Once they hear of a name, gets a flick painful fame. Animal wild supers, you and your crew. So therefore, young fools doomed to lose. Sooner or later, comes around to paper chases. Strike your bows, make your bow like Madonna. Wrestle the top like your magma. Sit like a target, you a fraud. Pull your card like a number. Got a bit on your head like an auction show. They of the vocals, this is the plugin. And then we just finished with the hardware. What I noticed in the hardware is the, the vocals uh, detach themselves from the bass, where the, the plug in it feels like the bass of the, the low end of the vocal becomes like almost. Uh, clouded with the with the kick but here's the funny thing when i'm talking about all this stuff they both sound awesome if i take everything off this is what we had before let's take off some multi band so that's the whole master bus off and here's the master bus on it's a different song guys i mean and that's that is the bus compressor when we listen to this back the bus compressor hardware just because i own it, it i don't care if i spent 50 grand on it if it wasn't doing what it did i, I would have got rid of it years ago i would have said no the, the hardware and the plug-in are so close but when we're doing fine-tuning stuff I mean, this is important, but what I would say for the bus compressor, it probably would excel better in a mixing environment, maybe on a drum bus, maybe on a, um, maybe you want to tighten up like a slap bass, maybe you want to uh, take a whole entire vocal and, and bus it to one auxiliary and then use it on that bus. What I'm saying that's, that's so powerful about the plug-in is you can use it more than once. I mean, you can have, you know, five different instances of it and you can get very creative with plugins. It's something we couldn't do back in the day. Even when I was first in school, I mean, we never really thought about it that way because, you know, computers couldn't keep up with it. Nowadays, we get computers that can, you can slap 15 cases of like the massive passive on a, on a session. The, the bottom line of the video is this. A lot of guys got really frustrated with that video, and I can see why, because we didn't give it an opportunity. We didn't, we didn't give it a chance. We were running it through a summing channel. There is no summing channel here. This is just straight into that compressor, back out of the compressor. 
this is matched. The gain on the hardware isn't anywhere close to the gain on the plug-in. The plug-in is, I would say, about 6 dBs louder for some reason. I don't know why it does that stuff, but on the actual meters inside Pro Tools, these are both sitting at an RMS level of negative 6. So therefore, what we say in a studio world is when an artist comes in that, that I'm working for, can they hear the differences? The one thing you will hear the difference on is when you turn that song up. And it's just crazy to me because hardware has always let me get to the point where I feel confident when somebody turns their music up. This is hip hop. Hip hop's loud. People want it loud. So when we turn up, you know, a hardware processed piece, it always seems like it just stays together and it stays glued together better. I'm not saying every piece of hardware is better than every plugin. There's plugins that are better than pieces of hardware. But I am saying when we compare this, this is one of the classic pieces of our time. And it's, I mean, it's it's an amazing piece of equipment so when I when I did that video I did not mean to disprove the the plugin the plugin has its own purposes but when it comes to people paying me for my time and and you know and sending me sessions you're absolutely 100 percent right I'm putting the hardware on there this guy paid me good money so he wants the you know he he's paying for this and he's paying for me to listen to it we found out we wanted some attack and, you know, a longer attack auto release because we wanted to add some kick to the kick. This video was not to disprove the plugin. Once again, this video was to show you the differences. And if you can't hear them, um, you know, maybe you're not using them for the same purpose I'm using them for. But in this case, we're using them for what that bus compressor was used for. The actual final of the mix, we put it on before the mastering. And that's what we get. And and to me, it's it's a no-brainer. I I think it's one of my best um, secrets in the studio. So any of you hip hop producers out there that are all plug-in, maybe make an investment in an X rack or a 500 series rack, and use that bus compressor as your final stop. Because I think some guys love it, some guys hate it. But to me, it always just brings that next dimension of my mix. It it doesn't take away from the mix. It doesn't. It, it's never taken away from the mix now you can overdo it you can definitely just hit it way too hard and, and just like anything else you can ruin it you could wax the song too much that you burn through the paint that's what i'm saying so don't think that this is a fail all but if you need to just use plugins go for the plugins because they're a lot less expensive but if you feel that you want to be a uh, an engineer for the rest of your life you're going to have to come to the realization that these companies made these plugins based off of that piece so at the end of the day that piece is probably going to have some things to it that you just can't live without when you engineer as long as I have but at the same time you have and you should be thankful that that they can even get that plug-in close to that and, and in the same ballpark so my name is Doug Jenkins, iMixandMaster.com. We did the video on SSL bus versus the plug-in, and this was my uh, attempt to just make it a little bit, a little more fair as far as the audio. And we recorded it through the dang uh, camera, and we were doing a mix, a mastering session that day. It's not an excuse; it's the truth. And I was like, "Okay, dude, let's just do a quick video real quick." Okay, man, sweet. And then, then we got a lot of. Um, a lot of thumbs downs, and I didn't like thumbs downs, and I haven't had any thumbs downs on my on my page, man, and I was I was upset, as you can tell. Thumbs up, big dog. All right, we'll see you guys. I gotta get back to work.